So I don't really, I don't really have much to say, so I'm just gonna introduce what we're doing. This fine individual is Sterling Wren, and he is about to experience what the apocalypse is like. Now, he is a completely randomly generated uh, starting character, and he's gonna spawn in a completely random location. All right, Mohawk, flat. He's got a Mohawk? Oh my gosh. All right, let's find out where he's gonna start. This can only end well. And by can only end well, I mean, I'm. it's probably going to end very badly. This man is probably not going to live very long. Let's see, where are we? Where are we? How lucky and or unlucky are we? Um, Riverside. I think, we could be in Muldraw. I haven't played in a bit. Actually, I think Muldraw's over here. So I think we're actually in Riverside. How lucky. Um, so that was not indeed Riverside. That was actually Moldra. Uh, so yeah. Um, I may or may not have spent a while away from the game and am a bit rusty. So I'm sure that won't come up to like haunt me or anything. I'm sure it'll be completely fine for good old Sterling Wren. This isn't an ill omen at all. Now let's, uh, oof. Let's inspect our character here. Sterling Wren, an electrician. Or an engineer. He said make aerosol bombs, flame bombs, pipe bombs, smoke bombs, and noise generators. Good at finding trash. Uh, dead average in fitness and strength, or at least no negatives. Some basic cooking and electrical skills. Um, no injuries. Everything's normal. Uh, and he's depressive, so he'll sometimes just get depressed. For no reason, so we're gonna have to find some uh, good old SSRIs. Um, so I guess let's start by looking around and seeing what we can find in here. There's not necessarily a reason to immediately leave. Bleach. I'm actually going to grab that uh, and pour on the ground, and then fill the bottle here. And so that's going to be our drinking supply. Holds a lot of water, so I won't have to worry about refilling it very often. Pickles and a lime. <laughs> Someone needs to go. This is what a depressed person's refrigerator looks like for sure. What does the outside look like? You see, there's one thing that's wrong about a depressed person right now. No, close. I'd like to close the uh, the windows. Close curtains, please. Thank you. See this. Now it's starting to look a bit more like a depressed person's house. This needs to be off. This needs to be off. Everything closed. It needs to be nice and gloomy. Anything interesting out there? No. There we go. Now this is this is feeling downright homely now. Leave the TV on static. Actually, that seems a bit risky. Let's uh, device options. Let's turn this off. Actually. Ah. Uh, Oh, is a psychopath not have any curtains? I see you guys over there. Don't think I don't see you. Foraging volume one, that's a good start. Grab our notebook so our dude can do some writing. Oh, forgot to check curtains. No curtains, this is an interesting character. An M19 pistol and sleeping tablets. Hmm, mm, interesting start for a depressed person. Uh, this isn't looking good. Maybe the zombie apocalypse could be a time, a chance for him to turn over a new leaf. He spent all this time just rotting. All right. So the zombie apocalypse has happened. Our guy, Sterling Wren over here, has been, become completely disillusioned with his life. He's got nothing to live for. He doesn't know what he's doing. He was honestly on the way out, judging based on um, what he had sitting in his bedside table. He probably wasn't much long for the world anyway. So now that the world is ending, he's always anticipated, you know, perhaps abandoning the job he hates, dealing with all this fancy smancy modern technology. What he really wants is just to return to nature. And the zombie apocalypse, sure, it's terrifying, but, you know... What else did he have going on, really? Uh, Sterling Wren. Sterling Wren is taking this as his chance. This is his chance to go to a simpler way of life. A simpler way of living. 
and he's not going to let it pass him by. What an optimistic start, right? I mean, come on. Uh, but, you know, that's the thing. This is not a redemption story. This is not the story of someone overcoming their past circumstance and growing into a new role in a new world. This is a tragedy. Ren had always been told by his, uh, by his therapist that, you know, it's very important to keep track of your goals. Keep himself organized, keep himself grounded. He hasn't been good at good at it at the past, but you know, this is a chance. Um to do. Don't get bitten. Find wood supplies. Get maps. And set up campsite. So these are the big goals. Big goals. And then just, you know, cheer himself up a little. Cheer himself up a little. There you go. There you go. This is a man who's ready for anything. All right. Um... He'll take one last bite of ice cream. One last bite before he never gets to eat it again. <sighs> oh well. Start grabbing all his food. Plate. He'll need a spoon. That's very important. Need a mug. Mouse trap. Important, important. Hand torch. Those are very important when you're out in the woods. Uh, sewing kit. He'll need that once he's out there. Um, and finally, an empty pot for cooking. And now he's got everything he needs. Oh, he's actually got a bit too much. Hmm. Maybe he was a bit too optimistic here. Uh, I guess the tomato paste isn't that important. Or the pickles. We'll eat the pickles now. Hmm. He is completely unarmed, isn't he? It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Oh, he had just moved in, hadn't he? Or maybe he just never took the sign down. Oh my gosh! <laughs> he was never exactly the uh, the sneaky type. Oh, I think he just walked through those walls right there. Um, his initial foray is not turning out to go as smoothly as he had hoped. This is not going well. This is not going well for him at all. <laughs> Maybe he should have worried a bit more about being prepared than just being an electrician who runs outside during the middle of a zombie apocalypse. On the upshot, it does seem like he is currently undetected. So this is a chance for him to get away. A fight? He's never been in a fight in his life. His first life that he's ever taken. Does it count if they're zombies? Let's see, is this a sneaky man? Is our man sneaky? Oh, he's not sneaky. Ah! Oh dear. Oh, is this the new life he wanted? <laughs> Evidently not. I don't think, uh, I don't think he's going to make it very long. This is a very poor start. Now he's really got nothing stopping him. Oh, we're in Rosewood, not Riverside. Whoops. Is that a letter opener jammed into her thigh? Let's take a breather. Let's take a breather real quick. Get our bearings in this brief moment that we have. 
Oh dear. All right, there's Rosewood added to our map. Don't need that anymore. Oh, no, we're not in Rosewood. We are in Riverside. Or are we in Moldraw? Is my... No, we're not in Moldraw. There's no freaking way we're in Moldraw. All right, I think we're good to go. Dirty bandage, it'll be fine. A weapon, finally. <laughs> oh dear. Excellent, excellent start. So I think what we need to do is get out of the middle of the open and find some actual goodness, like honest to goodness weapons, because this is not going well. Oh dear. Look at them over there. Just standing around. Ominously. All right, I think I think Sterling can get into this house. I think we'll see. He may not be able to. Uh, in which case, you know, this man has already been bitten. <laughs> okay, that's an interesting. That's an interesting point. Those are more interesting points. Very fascinating. <laughs> Well, um, hmm. wow, this is a very active location. Now, if this has a house alarm, uh, oh my god, <laughs> then if this place has a house alarm, that might be it for good old, uh, ah. doesn't really matter if we have scratch resistance at this point. <laughs> Always start with the window. Always. Maybe the zombie apocalypse doesn't spread by bites. Maybe it's just... You know, maybe... Maybe it's all just a matter of... Something in the air. You, you know. This is his new life. He can't give up now. Okay, that's no good at all. Hmm. Oh, this doesn't feel safe. There, I see a car over there. Jump scare. Whoop. Oh. Oh, come on. This is what we call suboptimal. Please remain seated. Just don't mind me. Please don't mind me. I'm not here. And you saw nothing. And if you think you saw something, you are insane. <laughs> I, for one, am feeling very optimistic about our chances. Very optimistic about that horrible bite wound that is currently present. Oh, nope, nope, nope. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. Nothing to see there. There is absolutely not a deadly bite wound. At all. No. There is not. Uh, ooh, a paper bag. With some encumbrance reduction. Let's uh, equip secondary there. And let's uh, throw our food in there. Oh, oh, is that a weapon? Is that a potential weapon? I see. There we go. Ooh, look at that. That is promising. These are nice, good foods to have in the apocalypse. Juice box for the road. Not electronics? No, we're, we're done with electronics forever. Car repair? That's just more technology. We want to go to the woods to avoid technology. <sighs> Some gloves. That's good. Flight case. Did we just find an upgrade already to our 
a rather questionable what's the encumbrance reduction here encumbrance reduction of 20 and our paper bag gives us a measly 10 boo I'll just put you in here let's very slowly move everything over If you're wondering why the french fries got transferred, that's because it's way too much work to take them out, so naturally they'll just get transferred over too. And it's full already, and somehow <laughs> we're still overloaded. Uh, am I carrying more now? Where did the extra stuff come from? That is a big case. A gun case. More gun. Ooh. So a magnum with two rounds, or do we keep the M19 pistol with zero rounds? Okay, well, whatever. That answers that question. Insert zero, 44 rounds in magnum. Does it? Oh, we have to open. Oh, two boxes of magnum rounds. Oh, never mind. This magnum is going to be rather helpful, it would seem. No good storage options around here, I guess. But whatever. Um, the sewing kit, I guess, will drop too, just for weight reduction. Oh boy, I'm sure that's fine. I'm sure that anxiety, that, that gnawing anxiety, uh, and the thoughts of doing more gnawing, uh, I'm sure that's fine. That's completely normal. There is nothing to worry about here. Everything is so fine that our dude here has got absolutely nothing to worry about. Absolutely no way that um, is already infected with the zombie plague by a by wound. Ooh. What is that noise? Is that wind? Windy day. One of our goals is to get a car, make our way out. Hello? Nothing. Nada. Ooh. Absolutely swimmingly. Bandages are dirty again, but that's fine. Absolutely fine. Going so well. A car! A car! Oh, please let there be a key nearby. Oh! Oh my god, I have a gun equipped. Fuck. Nice and clear around here. Anyone home? Yes. Ooh. Let's see who's knocking on the door. That's not quite right. Let's climb on in. Oh, that's just a house key. Not quite what we're looking for, but still useful. Let's see what's on this map. Moldra, Kentucky. Gun chops. Leave it all here. Too heavy. Ooh. Mm, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be heading to Moldraw. Unless, of course, we're in Moldraw and my uh, Project Zomboid map recognition skills are just absolutely demolished. Ooh! Car. We have got ourselves a car. <sighs> Things are looking so far up. Everything is great. Everything is fine. And, wow. I think we're actually going to get out of town. Ooh. Whoop. Oh. 
Oh shit. a little embarrassing and so concludes the the illustrious um story of the depressed electrician sterling Rand. the end totally not my fault he died definitely not <laughs>